Hello everyone, Karan here from TechRef, back with another video and today we are going to test out the MSI GF63 with a GTX 1050 4GB graphic card and see whether the latest games that were released in 2018 and the flagships, whether they can run at 60 frames per second or not. This is going to be a good benchmark going in into 2019 for how the games are going to be. Alright, so let's just get into it. One more thing guys, this is going to be a lengthy video because we are going to sit and we are going to try to make these games run at 60. They are not designed to run at 60 on the GTX 1050. So, you know, just bear with me. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we are starting with my favorite. And that's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So let's just check out the settings at which we play, which I play this at generally. And graphics you can see at medium. Okay, now let's start playing around with these settings. Okay, so it's at 1920 by 1080 and graphics, everything is set down to its lowest. What the hell? Okay, now I need to restart this game. Alright guys, so as you can see on the top left hand corner, right off the bat, we have been able to get around 50 frames a second. Let's just play around a bit and see what average frame rates we can hold. So 45, 44. Uh, what's the lowest? Uh, 46. Okay. Alright, so not bad actually. I mean the frame rates in itself, they aren't really that bad. Okay, so the lowest that I'm seeing is uh, 45. I mean this looks pretty good actually. Yeah, the game will... Okay, so it's gone down to 33 now, 36. 32, alright okay so yeah this is not playable now 43 42 okay so we need to work a bit more on let's go at that taxing area and let's try to see what we can work around okay so let's say 40 okay so we had 1920 by 1080 so we would need to bring down few more things let's go ahead and work on the resolution modifier so uh, it's at 1920 70% of that resolution uh, should be close to um, around 1440 1440 resolution let's see if we've been able to push the frame rates a bit higher okay they are a bit higher 46, 48, 49, okay, I mean, not drastically more, but, okay, it's, uh, it's a noticeable improvement, so 48, 49, 47, okay, we would need to bring down the resolution modifier a bit more, let's try 60, Okay, so 48, 49, 50, 40, 38, okay. Uh, the moment you come here, you really can't hold steady. So 40 FPS, 41, okay. Let's bring down this even further. Apply. Now the game has started looking really bad. I don't know if you can notice it, but yeah, it's not a very good looking game right at the moment. 45. You're gonna make me do this, right? Okay. So, let me bring this down to 1600 by 900. Yes, and resolution modifier is at 50%.
no change in the frame rates it's 46 and the game is looking worse than ever i can barely make out anything this isn't hd anymore this isn't even native hd this isn't even 720p right now okay let's bring this down even further i hope all the graphics are at the lowest okay adaptive low low low, low, low. okay and they are at the pretty much at their lowest settings okay yeah yeah the game isn't looking that good it's looking pretty 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 shoddy 48 47 I, I i don't think i have the courage to bring it down further it, it's gonna look terrible right now okay yeah i can't make out anything from this it's 53 51 i mean the frame rates are still in their or late 40s early 50s but i can't make out a single damn thing it's just looking hogwash absolutely yeah this isn't the way i'll be playing this game anytime soon so guys there you have it we tried and tested but uh, assassin's street or uh, odyssey just won't play at uh, 60 frames per second and guys this is possibly the lowest settings that we've gone down to i i really don't know what else can i do i think we are running it at 60 uh, 640p 640 by 480p so i don't know what else i can be doing to bring down to you know increase the frame rates more guys if you have any suggestions on how i can increase the frame rates even more by dipping down the quality even further do let me know but no guys this isn't the way to play i think the best way to play this game would be sticking it at 30 fps and uh you know using all the bells and whistles all right guys so just let's jump into the next game that we have and that is just cause 4 guys let me show you one more thing this game is actually not that scalable uh right now i'm getting 50 frames per second in the same place uh 42 43 where i was getting 49 50 i was getting the same frame rate and just check out i increased the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and resolution modifier at 100 percent i just noticed that it really doesn't matter uh if you bring down the resolution because uh that is actually not holding down the frame rate at all i'm assuming it's the cpu that's bottlenecking the graphic card again that's the best guess that i can have because i'm getting steady 50 plus frame rates at uh, this location at this junction so i really don't know what's happening guys all right uh, without further waiting let's get on to the next game so guys right now we are testing out just cause 4 and let me show you the settings that i'm using over here so if you go to options and graphics so 1920 and medium settings so these are the graphic settings that i generally use to play this game casually <laughs> uh, i get anywhere between late 30s to early 40s so that is generally not a problem for me so you can see 34 33 I mean yeah Thirty-one, thirty-four. so you know okay I mean they're playable for me I don't have much of a problem with that so yeah the frame rates are good they're 30 plus i mean so they're okay for me uh you know that's the best i can now we want to get 60 frames per second so let's try bringing down the graphics okay so we need to get rid of vertical sync uh, yeah we would need to get rid of an uh, af as well let's get rid of anti-aliasing completely so we are bringing down all the settings to low 
Okay, let's see if that really does anything, any change. Okay, so we are at uh, 38. Okay, In between 40 and 38. And the game is still looking half decent. It's not looking bad. Okay, but we need to get to 60. All right. So go to options, graphics. Okay, I'm optimistic. So I'll say maybe a 1360 by 768. We can get such frame rates. Let's try. Okay, so we have already gone to 55, 57, 56. Okay, so we have already touched. We are already on the verge of touching 60 frames per second. But of course, the game doesn't look really that good. And I have a feeling, let me see how does it. Okay. Still 50, not bad. Sixty, fifty-eight. Okay, so the game still holds up pretty well, even under a lot of action. There are no noticeable slowdown. I mean, this is one part that uh, Square Enix has really shunned through. Yeah game is looking I and mean, the game is looking pretty crap but yeah at least you're getting smooth gameplay okay let's bring down settings a bit more let's bring it down to okay 1280 by 720 all right so it's 5859 5859 okay i mean that is 60ish okay i i can i can count that as being 60 frames per second again almost I mean, why not? Okay, guys, so, you know, we have done this and we've seen that, you know, anywhere from high 50s to 60 frames per second, you can achieve in this game. Not again, not 100% 60 frames per second, but uh, decent enough. So, yeah, guys, this game gets a decent recommendation from me. Again, would I play like this? Probably not. I would want to play at my default graphics. Okay guys, just let's get on to the next game then. Okay guys, so we are checking out Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Let me show you the settings that we are at. We are at 1920-1080. SMAA is turned on and uh, graphics are at high settings so i generally get about 30 fps at an average more or less i get 30 fps and the game manages to look really wonderful of course uh, you know shadow of the tomb raider it looks really good and the water effects and everything are just spectacular. Is that a poison frog? Yep, that's a poison frog. Yeah, so, you know, pretty solid gameplay. I'm fine playing at that settings to, you know, and achieving 30 frames per second. I mean, that's the PS4 frame rate and you're getting better graphics, you know, what's the problem? Okay. So now to bring it down to 60 frames a second, uh, let's start with the most basic thing. Let's bring this to the lowest setting possible. Okay. So this is at the lowest. 
uh, yeah, it's at the lowest setting and let's turn these off as well. Does it really change anything? Yeah, let's turn these off. Pure here, low and off. Everything is at the lowest now. Okay, so we are getting around 50, uh, early 50s. So yeah, I mean the game is looking, yeah the game is not looking good at all. The texture pop-in is just too much evident. So early 40s to 50s. Okay, so it's pretty evident that we need to bring down the uh, SMA. Let's just disable this completely. And let's bring down the resolution to 1600. I hope this does it. Okay, 48, 47, 45, 44, 60. I mean, depending on the location. Yeah, but it just looks really ugly. I mean, this is no way to play this game. And I'm getting almost 60 frames per second. Let's just keep on playing. Okay, progress beyond this point would require an axe. Okay, let's bring down settings a bit more because I can see some dips. Okay. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it. Okay. So now it seems like a pretty much locked. Okay, still not locked, but pretty decent. 60 frames per second uh, output you can make out over here. But the game is not looking good at all. This is no way to enjoy this game at all. This, uh, this is more of a cinematic game. So, you know, f having 60 frames per second really doesn't make that much of a difference, at least for me. Your opinion can be different. Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. Oh, 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 almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. All right, guys. Uh, let's get on to our next game play. Okay guys, so now we are playing my favorite game and that's Far Cry 5. Let's just check the settings that I generally play it at. So, it's 1080p, refresh 60Hz, ultra settings, ultra everything and that uh, TAA, motion blur is turned on, vsync on and then I enable frame rate lock of around 30 frames per second. Uh, now this keeps my game completely smooth, uh, there is no jitters, nothing and it uh, at 99.99% of the time it's above 30 frames per second. I haven't actually noticed it going below 20, below 30 frames per second till now. Uh, you know, so let's just check this uh, gameplay at this. So the game looks really good, uh, the frame rates are great and of course all the effects come through really well okay there is a supply truck let's just try to destroy them will they won't they will they stop okay i think one of the guys are one of the guys is dead
so yes you can see this is how it is now let's try to bring down the graphics a bit and we need to get 60 frames per second so i'll start off by rem removing vsync i'll uh, disable the frame rate lock and in quality i'll remove anti-aliasing and motion blur now graphics is at normal right okay let's see i mean i don't think it's a very demanding game because i'm being able to run it at ultra so you know let's just see okay the game's starting to look like crap but uh okay 46 48 49 frames per second okay we can do better so 1920 by 1080 right normal let's see if i'll just reduce the resolution and if it works out okay Fifty one sixty. Okay, fifty eight sixty. Okay, it's above sixty. I mean, most of the time, but still, we can do better. Let's uh, remove shadows. Let's dis bring down the textures and terrain a bit. Let's see. 58, 56, 52, 48. Okay. Is that it? Am I getting complete 60 plus frame rate? No, not yet. settings a bit more geometry environment I think this should do it yes yes now we are running at solid 60 plus hmm. I'm more or less 60 plus frames per second there is that occasional dip let's try to take care of it i think there is enough room in this let's just bring everything down to low yes now it's at capped at complete 60 plus frames per second and uh, i'm getting decently above 60 frames per second most of the time hovering around 60 70 there's one two occasional areas where it's dipping down to 57 59 58 but those are really occasional so Okay. It's decently above sixty frames per second. Slight occasions when it comes down below 60, but really slight. Yeah, seems good to go. All right, guys, so let's check on the next last game that i have for you all right okay guys so we are playing battlefield 5 here and let me just show you the settings that i play at 
okay so it's at 1920p uh, 1080p sorry and uh, we are playing at high settings and I'm playing at DirectX 11 uh, not DirectX 12 and vertical sync everything is turned on and at high settings let me just show you the frame rates that I'm being able to get so 36 38 you know yes I'm fine with these I really don't have much issues uh, there's no ray tracing but it's still looking good the game still looks really really good okay now we need to get from here to uh, 60 fps so let me start by uh, most likely I'll have to put all the settings to absolutely the lowest uh, let's see if this uh, if this did something did it okay I'm at uh, 1920 by 1080 on and uh, at lower settings it am I locked in at 60 okay let's play a bit and see Okay, this is a solid 60 output that I'm getting. Yeah. Guys, this game's looking amazing at 1920. I really didn't have to do much to alter the graphics. I mean, this is a setting that I am willing to play it at. Absolutely for locked 60 frames per second why not guys this is the last gameplay video that I had and the last game that I felt was worth mentioning so this video actually gives me a lot of hope for the GTX 1050 And the game is running so damn smooth that, you know, it's actually leaving me quite impressed. Even if being at the low settings, the gameplay looks, the graphics look really good. And the game looks really well made. And this is a frame rate that I'm completely willing to play it at. If I have to. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. So guys, in no particular order, we tested out a lot of games, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Battlefield 5, Far Cry, and we also tested Just Cause 4. Uh, we tried uh, running Assassin's Creed at the lowest possible setting at 1280 by 720 but it just won't go beyond uh, 40, 48, 50. There are instances where there's locked 60 frames per second. But a moment you would get into a crowded city street or somewhere like that, your frames will dip. And that is a given. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it uh, managed to give 60 frames per second, but it looked really ugly uh, while doing so at 1360 by 768 at uh, you know the lowest possible setting. It was looking really ugly. So that is not a way I would play. Uh, coming to Just Cause 4 at uh, 1280 by 720 lowest setting, it wasn't looking all that bad and it managed to give you 60 frames per second. But again, I would much rather play it at 1920-1080 at high settings, uh, medium to high settings, uh, and 30 frames, lock 30 frames per second. Battlefield 5 is another game. Uh, this was at 1920 by 1080 and uh, it gave you 60 frames per second uh, at low settings. It managed to look really good while doing so. So this is one game if you are wanting to, you can really consider playing at the low settings at 60, lock 60 frames per second. So it was a pleasant surprise for me. And uh, the last game was, uh, if I'm correct, it was Far Cry 5, yes. This game had come uh, at early 2018 and uh, is a good game. 
again my preference of playing this game is at uh, 1920 1080p ultra settings anti aliasing set to the max and 30 fps lock frame rate i enjoy playing it at that because the game looks great and uh, it doesn't sacrifice too much on uh, the performance i'm fine at 30 frames a second as you can understand uh, to get to 60 frames a second i had to bring down the settings to 1600 by 900 and at the low uh, absolute low settings the game wasn't looking terrible and it was completely play playable so if you're interested you can use those settings so guys leave your comments down below i would like to know what settings you would have chosen instead of me to play these games at uh, these settings and thank you so much for watching this video like the video subscribe to my channel and always hit uh, the bell icon when you're subscribing to the channel to get instant notification right, thank you so much for watching my video guys all right peace